They are just like us, Congolese, they give weird names like days of the week or when there yeah. is an event. That's a French accent. If you've never heard it before, this is the way uh, the French people speak English. And maybe one day on the channel, I'm going to speak like this for you. But for now, you just listen to her. What would it be like if you put a bunch of Africans from different countries together and ask them what they thought about each other? I don't know. The people are dating beyond borders. They made a video back in 2020, July of 2020. The topic is what Africans really think about each other. Sub-Saharan edition. We're going to watch the video. See what happens and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. I've, I'm, I hear my predictions. I think Nigerians are going to be one of those, you know, boys, stereos, like whoever is a Nigerian is going to be very, not like obnoxiously loud, more like assertive to the point where it's annoying. And that's pretty much, I don't, I, that's pretty much what I know about any other country. I don't know. We'll discover together. All right. Let's find out. <laughs> Look hey. at Nigeria. The, my, the men in our side are a hundred times I more popping. Nigerians are sexy. Male, oh, yeah. female babies, unborn babies. Kenya. Safari. Maasai. The Lion King. What? <laughs> What? Um, can I say ass? I just said ass. <laughs> Good people. Show off. <laughs> Pretty. Handsome. Styles. Very funny. Liars. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. wait. Very which, bling bling. Too much. Which, I just got lost. Which country was that even? Did they say... Okay, the Kenyan. What's oh, Kenyan? All right. Safari. I got... Maasai. The Lion King. <laughs> Sukuma wiki. Got the nyamachoma. Can I say ass? I just said ass. <laughs> okay, Nigeria. Good people. Show off. <laughs> this guy's political. Oh, he's Nigerian. No wonder. He's Nigerian. <laughs> Pretty. Handsome. Of course. Styles. Very funny. Liars. <clears throat> Very bling bling. Too much. 419. What? People will know what that means. Loud, branded men. Branded? What is hell's brand? What? I'm already confused from this beginning. Like, this is what? Not even a minute, and I'm. It's just so fast. I'm like, okay, Ghana. All right. Ah, the land of the best. <laughs> Zero style. Oh. She's right next to me. It's so confusing. I dare you to say something. Beautiful people. Good job. Now we're talking. All right. Intelligent. Mm. No. Yes, yes. You took the lead on this. Yeah. What? Black stars. There it is. Terrible English. <laughs> Terrible jollof rice. Hater in progress. We can dance though. Uh, when I think, when I hear Ghanaian, I hear dance. Uh, that's it. That's it. Nothing else. Mm, mm, mm. Trevor Noah. Uh, Zulu Zulu. Tension. Mandela. Oh. Barbecue. What? I will have to say race. Wait, what? Barbecue. Apartheid. Melting pot. Is, is it weird that I think about Caucasians? Rastafari. Mm. <laughs> pretty. Babylon. Very pretty. Nice hair. Hey. Good skin. Women. Beautiful woman. Long hair. <laughs> Beautiful woman. Beautiful skin color. Wow. Senegal. Dark skin. Tall. Very model S. French. French. Wow. French? What? Yeah. And Jollof rice. <laughs> Apparently. Maîtresse de nos mariés. Sorry, it's a TV show there. It's a leaf cage. Jollof rice. <laughs> Apparently. Maîtresse de nos mariés. Sorry, it's a TV show there. It's a leaf cater. Notice how every other person is called Keita. <laughs> Angola. Oh, Portuguese. What? Kuduru is like a type of dance and music that they oh. do in Angola. Oh. I didn't know that. Really? I learned something today. Me too. Here, children are named after days of the week in the largest ethnic group. I can wait. Where? Start. I Ghana. learned something today. Challenge questions. Here, are children. That's Ghana. Congo. We are a team. <laughs> Come on. Where am I from? If it is, I'm not doing that one. Ghana! <laughs> Ghana! I win! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh my god! 
Il y a eu cette comtesse qui serait never told me that they are just like us Congolese they give weird names like days of the week or when there yeah. is an event. That's a French accent. If you've never heard it before, this is the way uh, the French people speak English. And maybe one day on the channel, I'm going to speak like this for you. But for now, you just listen to her. They will say your name is Bienvenue. This is the first African country to recognize same-sex marriage in 2016. 2006. So I'm going Africa. <laughs> I don't know. 2006, they did hmm. that. Before France. Before France. I know this one. Somewhere in my head. <laughs> not mine. Definitely not mine. Is it South Africa? Mm. Because I know people that actually got married. It has to be South time. Africa. South Africa. It has to be South Africa. Oh. I was right. Mandela. Hey. 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 I'm part of the LGBT community. I should know this. But you know something? Oh, God. It's been a long day, so let's blame the day for that. Thank you, guys. Just tell us the answer. <laughs> this country has an incredible 16 official languages, more than any country in the world. 16 official languages. Hmm. African country with 16 official languages. Can it be, can it be Nigeria? No, nah, it's not Nigeria. Official languages, 16. I kind of know this one. Is it my country? Is it? Can you give us a little bit? I will say South Africa. It's gonna be South Africa. South, South Africa. Africa. <laughs> it's not South Africa. We have there have eleven or twelve official languages. So what would you guess? Zimbabwe. Uh, what? You said Zimbabwe. <laughs> you think Zimbabwe? No. Really? I should have known that. My best, one of my best friends, Arnold. Come on, man. We should have known that. I'm, we're sorry. Moving along. <laughs> Coffee was first discovered here. Ethiopia. Let me see if I know. Ethiopia. Yay. Ooh, Cameroon. <laughs> Ethiopia. Eritrea. So, let's, let's go for Kenya, you guys. Ethiopia. Cameroon. Ethiopia. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's a coffee place, of course. Of Nigeria. course. Final answer. Luanda is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Apartments here can cost 8,000 pounds a month. Okay. Is that a question? Did you use a lifeline? Madagascar. Luanda. Luanda is... Isn't that Angola? Angola? But did oh. I No. Angola. 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 Ah, <laughs> Luanda. Ang Angola. 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 Yeah, wow. I knew it. This is a country known for Nollywood, the film industry second only to Bollywood. Really? Damn. I mean, I guess it's Hollywood, Bollywood, Nollywood. And Kamwood. <laughs> of course, it's Nigeria. Let's see how the Nigerian is going to react to this. Nigeria. Why? <laughs> Why did you do that? Nigeria. Nigeria, yeah. Oh, Nigeria. Nigeria. Oh, you oh, say Nollywood. Yeah. Well, you did not pronounce it well the first time <laughs> with your mask. I told you, right? I yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I love comedy a lot, right? So the Nollywood I would like is uh, this guy called Akina Popo. Akina Popo. Nigerian. Are you sure? You're in Ghana? No. Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> what country do the sexiest people come from? The Nigerian person is going to say Nigeria, of course. Of course. What else? Nigerian. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> I would say Senegalese. They're oh. very dark. Okay. And I love dark men. Not so. <laughs> You're not Senegalese. Our men are sexy, I think. Definitely East Africa. No. De without a shadow of a doubt. I have to give it to South Africa because that's where I live for about 10 years of my life. I'm biased. I'm going South African. South Africa is more diverse. Maybe it's the mixology in there. Sexiest? Yes. Yeah. Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> if, if it's not, who, who else? See you, people? Girl. <laughs> See, you need... The, you need the confidence of a Nigerian in your life just to exist, to be able to carry yourself with pride and love and positivity like this. I think this is, we all need, we all need a Nigerian, like, an, like a, you need to channel your inner Nigerian when you're going for like job interviews, when you want to ask somebody out, when you want to just 
fulfill a goal in your life, you need to channel your inner Nigerian. Because <laughs> this is just too much. Have you seen He's Nigerian African. men before? East African look how girls. There, right here. There's just not, look. Just literally look. is not. Just look. You are look. not looking. Look at Nigerian just, My, the men in our side are a hundred times more popping. Nigerians are sexy. Male, oh, yeah. female babies, unborn babies. Oh, yeah. Congo is fine too. They know how to dress though. They know how to overdress. I would say French Guinea. Guinea people. Cut it. Cut just cut finish. It. Just finish the video. Cut it. <laughs> it's gonna be Nigeria. Which country has the best food? Ooh, this is this is going to be a disaster. I would say Ethiopian and Somalian food are good. I don't want people to think I'm Senegalese, but again, Senegalese. Because and the Mali. I like the um, yasa chicken. Mm -hmm. Yasa. Pule yasa. yasa. Oh, it's cool. Uh, Beignet ash. <gasps> Beignet haricot. Beignet haricot. Ooh. I mean, I can't even talk about it without, like... Salivating. Mafé. 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 I do love the... Poisson brisé, mm. from Ivory Coast. The funny thing that I noticed, there's no Cameroonian here. Wait, are we in Sub-Saharan Africa? I don't know. Please educate me. You know, I always love to claim my... But this is Poisson brisé. This is definitely... This is like... We have this thing in Cameroon now. Poisson brisé, like... Mafé, we have... Binyaiko, we have... Uh, what? But about food, I think when it comes to food, I don't see a country that compete to Cameroon. I'm just saying this because I'm Cameroonian. We have variety, we have style, we have complexity, we have, it's just, we have everything. If you argue with me, let me know in the comment section, let me find out. We have, only, I'm trying to bias here to even look like, okay, I'm sorry to be non-biased, but okay, what do we not have? From Bongo Chobi to Ekwang to what they call Mafe, grass and granola soup, to Poulet Deje, to Nkui, Koki, Taro. Yellow soup, black soup, red soup, rice and stew, fish. Like, what are you talking about? It's amazing. What well, pop? <laughs> Nigeria. Both. Fish. Plantain. Eba. You said <laughs> one. <Nah. laughs> All the food in Nigeria is sweet. <laughs> Jollof rice, a foriro. Pounded yam, egg system. So all this kind of food, when you eat it, you feel like you can even have six pack. I have to go with my country. Nothing beats sadza and oxtail. We've got this thing in South Africa. It's a sausage. It's called burrowbors. We put on the barbecue. It's traditionally South African and it's super awesome. You can't just pick one country. There's so many flavors, so many delicious. Cameroon wins. What, in your what in your opinion is the coolest country in Africa besides your own? Hmm, let me actually think about this. Coolest country in Africa besides mine. I'll definitely go with Nigeria. I'll go with Nigeria. And more recently, like I think Nigeria for me for me personally, right? This is just me, just my opinion because of this video. Nigeria and Ethiopia are going to go on a tie. Nigeria because I know I have a lot of Nigerian let's say friends. I don't know if we're friends. We know each other. And I love the energy. I love the, the similarities. I love the that slight difference just because they're Nigerian. Like a lot of people, people that I know who are Nigerian are writers and artists. So there's like an overlap between our history, the way we think, the way we see the world. And then we have the clear differences of the different kind of cultures and in the landscapes of the country. For Ethiopia, it's mostly because I'm doing a lot of Ethiopian reactions on the channel. And I've been learning a lot about the country and falling in love with the diversity and the, the culture and just the love that Ethiopians have for their country. So... If I had to say what the coolest country is, I would pick those two countries, like Nigeria and Ethiopia, for those reasons. Yeah. It's a hard question. I'll say Kenya. There's something unbelievable about the animals over there, the crossing of the Mara, the Ngorogoro Crater Lodge. I love the different types of tribes and the history. The best New Year's Eve I've ever had in my entire life was at Carnivore. Cameroon, their food, the Ooh, vibes. Mine you is know best. it. Best food, best music, best dances, no matter what other people think. Best and that's people. why nobody knows the dances from Cameroon. What? Are you... Wait, what? I'm moving on. Mozambique. And I love the accent when they speak Portuguese. It's so charming. Mozambique. I would pick Nigeria. Of course. I would not said expect beside any other your country, bro. Nigeria, this. party people, you know, we know how to have a good time. We know how to always have a good time, even though we don't have no money to do it. And then if we have more money, 
more party. Have a request. The dance, coupe décalé. <laughs> The comments, the comments, the comments are going to be. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Spokesperson for Nigeria. Yeah. Every day in a party. Anyone in Nigeria can be the spokesperson for Nigeria. <laughs> We're done? We're done. Woo! Wait a minute. We I want to see. Let me see something here. Um, let me see. Was it Cameroonian here that I missed? We can need to go back and watch. Three see. Three answers. How many points did we get? Oh, what do you mean we miss one? All right, I need to find out who was the Cameroonian in this team because it looks like I missed the Cameroonian. Let me see from the beginning. Oh. Too much for one night. Where is she? Okay, wait, that's her country. <coughs> Very bling bling. Too much for one. Oh, she's. I wasn't paying attention. She's Cameroonian and French. Cameroonian France. That is why she spoke the way she spoke. Uh, I am going to now. Uh, <laughs> what Africans really think about each other? I think this is a very, very summarized version of the things. Like just a few countries. I think they were like what? I think they were about five pairs, maybe like ten countries. Also, so um, yeah, I feel like we have we have a lot of things in common and there's a video that i'm actually working on things we're making about the maps and showing how we're divided because of the colonial history and how that has affected a lot of the things for us as africans and different ways we see each other so this video i think was fun fun to watch and yeah i don't really have much to add to this i don't know what do you think what do you think do you think there were accurate representations of their countries you know did the nigerian i think the nigerian behave very nigerianly if there's such a word but um the other countries i don't know wasn't pay attention. I didn't even know that Jeanne was coming on. Like, it was right there. Right there. I was, wasn't even looking at it. Anywho, thank you so much for spending time with me today to watch me watch this. And I would love to hear your comments, to read your comments about your reaction. Do you think that this is what, you know, people from these countries think about people from your country? Have you ever met somebody from a different African country and they expressed the way that they felt about your country and you had a conversation? Because I'm sure it's always a fun thing to do. So... Looking forward to hearing from, from you. My name is Kamga. On this channel, I try to bring the stories that we tell ourselves, the stories that we tell each other, the stories that we tell about our countries to see how we can use the stories to improve our lives and improve the communities in which we belong. So if you like these kinds of reaction videos, essays, reviews, and sometimes just very strange stories that still revolve around storytelling, please do want to subscribe on the channel and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Until then, do your best. Let God take care of the rest. And remember that once there's life, there's hope. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here.